I'm Jason Barr. Another chance to clinch an American Hockey League playoff spot. The Roadrunners needing a little outside help tonight to get that done, but beating Texas at home would be a good start to the Tucson Arena. We go Tucson was down for nothing late in the second period on the power play, though. Stephen Kampfer sets it up for Colin Tyson and the Roadrunners get on the scoreboard. They're down 4 one after two periods. All right, early third period now, again on the power play. This time it's Josh Doan, his second goal of the season since joining the team from ASU. It's now a two goal game, Tucson very much in it. All right, just under three minutes to go. Roadrunners putting the pressure on, buzzing around the net. Jean-Sebastien D puts it through and it's now a 4-3 game, just down by one. 37 seconds later, Michael Ketterling sends it to the net and Cameron Hebig pokes it in. That's the equalizer. We're tied at four and Tucson by setting the game into overtime clinches a playoff spot as San Jose had just lost. We'll show you that in a moment. The Roadrunners did lose this game 5-4 in OT, but they get the help they needed as we go to the scoreboard because San Jose did lose to the Colorado Eagles 4 to nothing. So the Roadrunners are in that seventh and final playoff spot in the American Hockey League Pacific Division. Tucson still has two games left in the regular season next weekend with San Jose, and then it will be playoff time for the Tucson Roadrunners. All right, we saw it here on K-Gun 9, the Boston Bruins tying an NHL single season record with their 62nd win. Pavel Zaccia had both goals in a 2-1 victory over New Jersey. Boston now has three games still left in the regular season to break the record, and they're likely to do so because all three games are against non-playoff teams.